Reception, it's Miss Lewis here. Now, I'm not going to read you a story today about a pirate. I wanted to read you a poem, and this poem is called Pirate Pete. Now, as I'm reading, I want you to listen carefully. Can you spot any of the rhyming words? Perhaps at the end, you'd like to listen to the poem again. Maybe you could have a go at writing down some of those rhyming words. Maybe you could think of your own words that rhyme with some of the words that are in the poem. So sit back, listen carefully, and here we go. Pirate Pete had a ship on the sea, had a fish for his tea, had a peg for a knee, and a tiny little parrot called Polly. Pirate Pete had a book with a map, had a skull on his cap, had a cat on his lap, and another little parrot called Dolly. Pirate Pete had a trunk full of treasure, had a belt made of leather, had a cap with a feather, and another little parrot called Jolly. Pirate Pete had a patch on his eye, had a flag he would fly, had a plank way up high, and another little parrot called Molly. So Pirate Pete and the parrots four, they sailed the world from shore to shore, collecting gold and gifts galore. And that's their tale. There is no more. So like I said, maybe you'd like to listen back to the poem. Can you hear any of those rhyming words in it? Could you have a go at writing some of them? Could you think of your own words that rhyme? When you've done that, maybe you also like to listen back to the poem and listen to how it describes Pirate Pete. What's his hat like? What's his belt made of? What's his leg made of? How many pets did he have? How many parrots were there? Can you remember all their names? Maybe you could draw me a picture of what you think Pirate Pete looks like and having a go at labelling it. You could even write me to set some sentences. He has a... And tell me the rest. Don't forget your capital letter, your full stop and your finger spaces. And remember to send us your lovely work because we love seeing it, okay? And we'll see you very soon. Bye.